Let's take up arithmetic means. What is an arithmetic mean? An arithmetic mean is the term between two given terms of an arithmetic sequence. Let's have an example. Insert four arithmetic means between 5 and 25. Okay. What are the four terms between 5 and 25? Solution. For we to imagine the problem, let's try to have it this way. We have 5 for the first term, then blank, 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 and blank for the uh, four arithmetic means. And then we have the last term, which is equal to 25. For, of course, for we to complete the terms in the sequence, we need to find what is the common difference. What number must be added? Okay? So that at the last term, it must be 25. Okay? So, for we to find the common difference, okay, uh, we are going to use the formula for finding the n term of an arithmetic sequence. And this is what we have recalled a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Okay. Since our last term is the 6th term, therefore we have a sub 6. So we have a sub 6 equals first term plus 6 minus 1 because we have 6 terms all in all. So 6 minus 1, we have 5, then d. And then we are going to continue further now to find what is our d or common difference. So let's sub it by substitution. 25 for the last term. First term is 5, then plus 5d. Then uh, transpose 5, we have 25 minus 5 equals 5d. So continue, we have 20 equals 5d. Then divide by 5 to get d or common difference, which is equal to 4. Since our difference is equal to 4, then we, can, we know what number must be added. From the first term. Okay, so let's do it now. Since d is equal to 4, then 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 4 is 17. 17 plus 4, 21. And 21 plus 4, voila, we have 25 on the last term. Now, what are the four arithmetic means? The four arithmetic means are 9, 13, 17, and 21. Easy, right? Okay, very good. Now, let's have another example. What must be the three terms between 6 and 54 for them to form an arithmetic sequence? Okay, so let's try to imagine the problem. We have 6 on the first term, 54 on the last term. So solution, for our, on our imagination, we are going to have the blanks. So 6 for the first term, how many blanks must be inserted? 1, 2, 3 terms, arithmetic means, and then the last term is 54. So how many terms we have on the sequence? We have 5 terms on the sequence. So therefore, our last term is A sub 5. Okay. So let's recall the formula again for finding the n term. A sub n equals A sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. We need to find our d or common difference. Same with our first example earlier. So our last term, A sub 5, and our first term is equal to 6. A sub 5 is 54, and then last first term is equal to 6. Now, let's substitute this formula. By substitution, we have a sub 5 equals the first term plus n minus 1. Our n is 5. So 5 minus 1, we have 4 times d. So we can have a substitution for first term and the fifth term. From this one, 54 equals 6 plus 4d. Okay, did you get it? Now, let's proceed further. So by transposition, we have 4, 54 minus 6, 48 equals 4d. Simply divide by 4, 
to get an answer which is equal to 12. Since our D is equal to 12, that is the number to be added from the first term. So 6 plus 12 is 18 plus 12, 30 plus 12, 42 plus 12. Here we have the last term, 54. Okay, so we complete the sequence now. So what are the three terms or three arithmetic means? The three terms are 18, 30, and 42. Okay, so the lesson on arithmetic means are so easy. Okay, I hope that there's no problems on that. Again, uh, if you have questions, try to ask me or uh, look for me in the school. Okay, uh, that's all. Thank you very much.